Morning riders, well, this is it. Uh, today's the day. Uh, more than two years of dreaming and planning and somehow against all odds, the trip has come together. The bike is loaded and we're gonna leave. We've been packing all morning like lunatics, <laughs> but we're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, we're off on our BMW two up to explore the world until either our travel budget runs out or our sense of adventure runs out. <laughs> Box on. That's this side. Is this really it? Did we just need to ride this machine? Glam world! You see, it's me and you in the open road. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's very good. Lucy Vivian? Yeah? We have got an exciting and major milestone of our trip coming up. Are you ready oh, for thanks. it? Calais? No. Euro tunnel? We've just done a hundred miles. Oh. Get in there. Come on. Uh. <laughs> right, we're back on the road. Quick pit stop to see our friend in London. And now we've got a 65 mile journey down to Folkestone where we're taking the Euro tunnel. In the words of Ewan McGregor, get us out of fucking London. <laughs> We're not disabled. <laughs> We're going backwards. Uh, number five. Okay, back on track. Well, we've made it to France. Your tunnel's just arrived. at our camp and we're about to set it up for the first time ever. First time doing the tent, first time blowing everything up, first time doing it all. Good morning. We just had our first night in our first camp of the trip. We're here just south of Calais, I think near Boulogne-sur-Mer. Uh, we just managed to find a small little campsite last night. It's quite cute, quite quiet. Uh, and this is our camp. Right, we've got a little camp stove here. There's little Lucy. Inside we've got stuff at the sides here. Shit's everywhere. <laughs> nice. So today's plan is get this breakfast down us, doing a bit of social media stuff. Get to Bruges. And then pack up, head to Bruges. <laughs> Made it to Bruges!
Bruges. Yeah, we made it to Bruges. That was a nice little ride, actually. Pretty easy. It was pretty much highway all the way here. So we drove from Boulogne-sur-Mer in France. It was about 150 kilometers, which took an hour and a half. And yeah, we just arrived in Bruges and we just followed the map to the center and it's taken us literally right into all of these cobbled little streets directly into the center of town. Oh, let's not get run over. <laughs> and yeah, we're just gonna go out and wander and explore. We're gonna find some Belgian waffles, Belgian chocolate, and what's the other one? Cherry beer. Cherry beer, bring it on. Everywhere you look in this town, it's just so beautiful. It's like a little fairy tale. I mean, look. There's a horse coming by. We've arrived at our second camp, just outside of Bruges. Well, like three kilometers from the center, so very central. And we've got our bike parked up here. And we are in full teamwork mode with Viv. Blowing up the airbed. How's it going, Luce? <laughs> With the world's shittest pump. <laughs> and I have got some food going. You know you're camping when you're stirring pasta and carrots with the knife you just used to open your tin of tuna. How was it? <gasps> <laughs> It's yummy, but it tastes like dog food. Excuse you. Ready? Right, morning, morning. We just packed up our camp here in Bruges. Lovely campsite we had last night. A bit of rain this morning, but it's beautiful skies now. We checked the weather and it is clear skies all the way for our journey today. The plan today is to ride first to Antwerp, which is uh, 88 kilometers from here, about an hour, 20 minutes. And from there, we're gonna continue on to Rotterdam to see some friends. Okay, here we go. We're on the road again. Oh, we really need to be on the right-hand side of the road. That's better. Well, we've made it into Antwerp, and the sat-nav is taking us right into the centre, like it did for Bruges. We're on a tram track. Oh, they're not going to be fun to ride on. Yeah, so we just need to find somewhere to park now. Alright, so let's go right here, so just keep following, and hope that a parking space just emerges, like this one. Nice. Antwerp. Let's go. Just arrived. Um, just gonna wander around a little bit, get some lunch. We wanna get some frites and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Talk us through what we got here, Lucy. Frites, pita pollen, with the the pollen. Sticks. 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 Yeah. Yeah. sauce, curry verse, it's very, very powerful. How do you feel after your fitters? <laughs> Baby on board. Just rode on the old wooden escalators takes you down into St. Anne's Tunnel, which goes all the way under the big river that separates the city of Antwerp. So to 
finally took off the last thing we wanted to get in Belgium. It is, of course, the famous Belgian chocolates. Praline horse head. Why is the horse head? I don't know. It tastes great. I oh, we just finished exploring Antwerp. It's quite nice. We just wandered around for a couple of hours. Got some food, got some fritter, got some Belgian chocolate. And now we're just getting suited back up again. And we're going to head towards Rotterdam. Ooh. Let's go. All right, so we're driving through the streets of Antwerp. Pretty cool to be driving like right in the city center on the tram line. I am a little bit nervous about a tram coming the other direction. And we're off to Rotterdam. We've got 100 kilometers, about an hour and 25 minutes. So crossing from Belgium into the Netherlands for our fourth country of the trip already. Hello, hello. Not one person waved. I think we're in the Netherlands. How do you say hello in Dutch? Hello. Hello. <laughs> On the road to Rotterdam. We're coming into Rotterdam. Now it really feels like we're entering a new city. Look at that. High rises everywhere. Trams in the middle here. Oh, we're coming over Rotterdam Bridge. 122 for 800 meters. I made that name up. I don't know what this bridge is called. It's glittery in the park. But it's a big old bridge and it's in Rotterdam. And she's a beauty. This is literally right in the center. Trying to find our friend's place. Somewhere close by to here. Maybe here we park. Thanks, buddy. <sighs> Lucy? Nailed it. All right. Morning again. We're back on the road following our friends. And today they're just going to take us on a ride sort of just outside the city. There's a UNESCO site, Kinderdijk, I think. Uh, some nice driving roads, supposedly. Nice weavy, windy roads around some waterways. And we'll just do a bit of exploring while the weather's nice. These are the cube houses of Rotterdam. We found some fun little windy roads here. Come on. Lean it in. Oh, that's a good feeling. I've no idea where we are, but this is beautiful. Feels like we're riding down the streets of Amsterdam. Our attic Dutch windmill. All right, we're taking another detour. We've come out of Rotterdam again after lunch, and we are now in Leiden. We're heading towards the start of the flower route, which is some nice winding roads that goes through all of the colorful tulip fields. Well, I think we're on the flower route now, but I haven't seen so many flowers out in bloom yet. Maybe it's not the season for it, but look at some of these houses. I mean, just unbelievable. They look like they're straight out of some luxury living magazine. Well, these uh, these are the, the flower fields on the flower route. Unfortunately, we're out of season and it's all just brown and green. Well, we did what we could of the flower route and the flower fields. I think we were just a few weeks too late. <laughs> it's a very nice road to drive and some of the houses along it are just stunning. So certainly a... Uh, a nice, a nice ride out. See you. Thanks for hosting us. Thank you for having us. Let's go. Bye, way. Bye. Welcome to the Netherlands. We're heading towards Germany. Um, just gearing up, just waterproofing because it looks like it could be a bit of a wet ride for us today. See you there in Germany. See you there.